Um, hello, so today we are going to continue to do this weekly contest 323. One of the problem is design memory allocator. Um, so what this problem says is that we have, um, we want to create an allocator class, right? And uh, we get in the input, which is in the c initial constructor here, um, n. Um, and uh, we this allocator class represents a zero indexed memory array where initially all the units of that array of size n are free and we need to have two functions one is allocating a block of some size that we get as input so that would be this allocate function with this size and we want to allocate all um, to free of course memory units you can't allocate for something that already had another unit so we want to allocate a unit with this id okay so we get the id and then free means just to free all the memory units in that given id so if we get id one we want to free all units that have id one even if they are doesn't mean necessarily contiguous right um so it says multiple blocks can be allocated with the same id right so you could have one maybe one and then another multiple with that with id two and then another one with id one right and when we want to free we want to free all of these right if we want to free id one um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. And these are the functions. Um, now for what to return for allocate, we want to return the leftmost block of size of con cons consecutive free memory units. So what this means basically, if we had, let's say maybe at this is index zero, index one, index three, let's say maybe here we had ID one, but here we had ID, ID three here and here we had ID one. So if we want to, ret if, when we are calling allocate with size two with ID one, and we do it here, we want to return the first index, which is here, so index 1, right? So that's what this means. Um, and if we are not able to do it, which this usually can happen if everything, let's say, for example, we have an array of just like 3, and we already added, um, let's say, in all of them, we already added uh, id1, and now we want to allocate for id2, maybe size of 2. Um, all of the, there is nothing free, so we can't do it. So we can we need to return minus one, right? Okay, so that's it. Now for free, w w what's asked us to do is once we free for an ID, we want to count all those that we freed up and return the value. Okay, um, so let's take a look quickly here at this example. We won't do all of them, but just take a look at an example. So of size ten, it's of size ten, and so first we want to allocate one with block of size one, and so what we want to return is the first index. Everything is free right now, so we just allocate to the first position, so we return, ID zero, we return index 0. Size is 1, so we took only one place, so the next available index is of size one, is index 1, and we want to just assign size 1 uh, here. Uh, we just want to assign, yeah, size 1 with ID 2. And so we just assign it next to the first one, and that would be ID 1. So that's sort of the idea. Um, yeah, so let's see how we can solve this. Um, so how do we do it? So the first thing is that we can notice here is that mm, we will have both n size and m id are of size one thousand, right? So n is of the size one thousand, the the function that we initialize allocate with, and so we could just create a table with size one thousand and do these allocations in that table, right? Um, not one thousand, of course, here, but just of size n. That's all we need, right? And so here, for the first example of size 10, we can just have 10 values here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, sorry, this is eight, uh, minus 1, um, 8, 9, uh, 10. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is, these are the indices, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine yeah starting from zero so it ends at nine right okay so the first um one we get is allocate size one with id one okay so what do we do um let's just look for it look for the first available slot that's what what would make sense so we can just uh look for first um available block of size um of size that we are looking for so we'll get allocate called with um, size and then the ID okay and so the first one we get called with one one 
and so we just want to start from the first available minus one means available for us or free so we could just use that and so um, what this would mean is that we'll put um, one one so it's size one and the ID is one so we'll just put ID one okay um, and now we will get the second call which says size one and ID two so we just look here this one is occupied so we move here this one is not occupied and so we'll follow it up with two um, and now we get one three size one but the ID is three again we go again from the beginning we traverse until we find a slot that is a place that is available here we only need one and we found one that is available right and so let's put three there and now we get free so uh, these are all allocate calls so three of them and then we get a free for id2 so we want to f so we can just traverse again until we find um, a block that has a value equal to that id so we can just put the ids in the arrays Th that's what we are doing here so when we find two how do we mark it as free up we can just return minus one and of course while we are doing it we count so here um, we want to free it up so we put minus one Okay, so let me just put minus one when it's freed up. Uh, there is no other two, so we stop um, and we return one because we only removed one. And by the way, for the allocate, each time we return the start index. So here, the first one we return zero, uh, the second one we return one, the third one we return two, the index of the start. Okay, so now we want to allocate three, four. So size is three, ID is four. So we're going to look for a place that has three places available. Contiguous, because we the block has to be contiguous. So we go here, we find not available. Here it's available. So we count, okay, how many we have available? We have just one. We go here, not available. So we need to reinitialize when we to zero when we find a place that is av not available because we can't fit in that block, right? And so we initialize to zero, and then we move here. Um, now we'll check here. Now it's one, another one available. It's one, uh, two, another one available. So it's three, right? Once we find available equal to size, that means we found the block that is convenient for us. Now we just need to go back and just fill the the size from the position we went at back to the um, back to the one we started at. So that can be just um, so. Let's say this is i. That can be just i minus available plus one up to i and we can just fill this chunk with the id that we have because that that's the block that we found and so here we can just mark all of these as um id4 okay and what do we return we want to return the start and the start is actually this the id i minus available plus one what is i i is five minus available which is three so that gives us two plus one that gives us three that's the exact index that we want that's the exact index where we start at so that's what we return okay i hope that gives you the idea but that's the gist of it we can continue um maybe do a couple more just to make sure this is clear so the next one is allocate one size one okay so we go again from the start um this one is occupied so we skip it um but this one is free and available now is equal to one and that's equal to the size that we want so we can fill it here okay so we fill it here with value one um and now we go another allocate for value one um and so we do the same thing we go from the start here this one is occupied 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 when we get here we found a free now available is equal to one which is equal to the size that we want which is one and so we fill this one up with value one okay um, and then we get free for value one and this is where it's a little bit interesting because we want to remove all the ones that occurred and so we just go through the list and find all the one values so here this is one so we want to remove it um, so we remove this one and free it up say minus one and now our count is equal to one we go here we free it up again so we put minus one count equal to two um, we continue different than one different 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 this one is equal so we free it up you see they don't have to be contiguous so minus one and now count equal to three we are done so we return three and that's what you see in the response here we return three here right 
Um, yeah, and you can do the rest manually, but this is the gist of it. Uh, basically, just look for the earliest block that has enough size where you can allocate, and you, when you are freeing up, just go through them. And since the the constraint here says up to 1000, th this should pass fine, right? Um, so that's the idea, now let's code it up and make sure it passes our test cases. Um, okay, so let's implement our solution that we just said. So what we need is to um, first have our array, let's call it just blocks, and we said minus one, f as many uh, slots as we need in the array. And now for allocate, what we said is we are just going to check for the first available one equal to zero, right? And so we'll go through the r range of this array, right? So traverse our array, that's what we said, uh, blocks. Um, so basically this is actually n, we want to go through the length, so that's just n. Um, but let's just save n here so that we can access it later. Um, okay, so we go through um, the blocks and we def we check how many are available. So one is it available if it's not minus one, which is what we mark it when it's free. And so we say uh, blocks of i, if it's different than minus one, that means it's, if it's equal to minus one, that means it's available. And so we just increment available. Otherwise it's not, so we no longer have a contiguous one, so we should initialize available equal to zero, right? But if at any time we get available equal to size, we want to take it and allocate. And so to do that, we just need to, for j, what do we want to allocate? So um, I would be the last position, let's say um, um, we want to allocate Let's say we have maybe, we have size equal to three that we want to allocate, right? And we had minus one maybe, and then two, two, maybe th um, one, one, uh, or maybe just one, and then we had a block like this, right? And maybe here we have like uh, minus one, minus one, something like that. Okay, so when we do available and find that available is equal to size, we would be here. And so, to get all of these, we just go back to i minus available plus one. So basic or i minus size plus one, okay? So that would give us this, right? Because let's say zero, uh, one, I already explained this, but just wanna make sure this is really understood. Five, um, six, so that would be six minus three plus one. And so that would be four. And four, that's exactly what we want, right? And so here, that's what we are going to do. I minus size plus one to I. We want to do plus one here for Python to be able to finish at exactly position I. And now what do we want to mark those with? We want to allocate them. So we just want them to have this ID. So for J, this is going to be equal to that. And uh, we want to return at the end, uh, the start. And the start is the same thing, I minus size plus one. This is the start, right? So that's what we are going to return here, okay? Now, if we want and we never find a block available that has that size and we just went through the entire block without find uh, the entire list of uh, places and we didn't find it, we wanna return that we weren't able to, which is minus one here. So we wanna return minus one. Um, and then uh, once we do that, that's pretty much it for allocate. Now to free up, we just mark them with minus one when we, and we want to count how many we got, we found, and uh, freed up, uh, and return it. So we just go through again the range of all of them, and if the ID contains the one we want to free up, so equal to that, then we want to free it up, which means just marking it with minus one, so that later we can find it as available. So we want to just do minus one, um, and we want to of course increment our count here, and that's pretty much it, so let's run this. Um, looks like it passes on the case here, let's submit. And that passes, right? Now in terms of time, this is linear oven in terms of oven being the uh, length of the array, so oven time. We are also using this self block array, which is oven space. So oven time, oven space. Um, 
and um, this one also is open well all of them together are using open space right um, and this function each time it's called uh, does open and this one also each time it's called is open right um, and can be up to 1000 and we can have up to 1000 calls for each so overall it's 10 to the power of 6 we should wish which should pass fine right um, yeah so I think that's pretty much it for this problem uh, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one